is a... the capacity to hurt someone in any way, shape, or form that would put you in jail straight away. Oh, so like your fists, you need to have a license. <laughs> but yeah, some of some of this is like really, like it's so weird. Like it, like it is to the incredible annoyance of every gun owner in the U.S. It's just insane. <laughs> nope, that, no the, freedom for you. Stock, <laughs> put a stock on your Glock. It is a short-barreled rifle now because it has a stock. You hmm. clap the stock onto the bottom of your pistol's grip. It's a short-barreled rifle now. Wow. And the hmm. foregrip thing on pistols, I have to double check. This one says if you put a foregrip on a pistol like a Glock, because my my Glock has a little rail for it. I have a, just like a flashlight laser on it. Hmm. But if you put a foregrip on it, then pistols are, I think the official designation of a pistol is that it does not have a foregrip. So if you put a foregrip on a pistol, it becomes an any other weapon in that category. Which is fucking weird. It's dumb. And if I was president, man, oh, fucking things. The red tape that I would clear. <laughs> with ATF. I like, I like that you, you assume the, the rank or role is president, man. If I president. was president, man. If I was president, man, man, I would. And like the shit you had, the hoops you have to jump through to get a suppressor are fucking ridiculous, too. Like, it's so many stupid rules. Um, step right up, ladies and gentlemen. Step right up and see the only, the one and only, the amazing PSA Sitch, the man with 1.2 billion chromosomes. Oh. <gasps> oh, that's oh. a total reference. Wow. Damn. Uh, the Cypher Diaz situation is a mess. The Clone Wars patched it in season six call, episode called The Lost One. Huh. Yeah, I always felt like whenever I looked into it in the Clone Wars, I was confused as to how, how it happens. Um, I'll be right back. Here's the thing the prequels didn't kill the universe. True. But the sequels, hmm. woof. Yes. Uh, fight yeah, choreography. I, I guess that's the nature of being a prequel, though, right? Well, I guess that's not true. Prequel. I was gonna say a prequel can fuck up everything if it wanted to. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Some might even argue the prequel has more power to do so because they can. Well, fucking... yeah, they retroactively. Yeah. 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 Kind of interesting how that works. Uh, fight choreography is also much, much better in the prequels, objectively so. Dun, 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 yeah, I'm pretty sure. That. Yeah. Um, I've been arguing with people in Hello Greedo's comments for days now, and they all live in a bubble and think nothing can be objectively judged. It sucks. Also, High Rex. I will make sure to read when he gets back. But um. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Should we <laughs> should we have this conversation, Adam? So do do you <laughs> have oh, moral objectivity? Whoa, moral objectivity is a different thing. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I know it is completely different. He's just trying to get me because I'm, I'm like you're a more Mr. realist. But... So so. Yeah, I, tell, I believe in objective morality. So. No, no. I mean, Mahler is Mr. Objective Boogeyman. Objective <laughs> what, is, what does that mean? Because every because all the people are like, oh, Mahler thinks all art is objective and he has the only right to criticize things. Yeah, they haven't watched our videos or our streams ever. There is uh, there is objective criteria. You can't. Yeah, I know, but they're stupid. Pull in in the same way that I pull it into morality, but as long as it's objective, yeah. Measuring the criteria, that's what makes it objective. Am right, I wrong? <laughs> I don't know. He doesn't, want, he, doesn't, he doesn't want to answer. It's fine. Well, the, what, this... what you, hold on. What, what's the question? I'll answer. I don't care. Well, no, I, we've had we no. Me and Adam argue about moral. Adam and I. Moral. I